Ozempic babies is actually a real thing. Have you seen it on social media? Hashtag Ozempic babies. And it's referring to women who on GLP-1 agonists have actually gotten pregnant. Ozempic babies. Now, what's really interesting too is that some of the women who talk about having gotten pregnant while taking these medications, some of them say, you know, look, I couldn't get pregnant before. I was told I'd never be able to get pregnant, etc. And here we are, I'm pregnant. Not all women, but some. Either way, there's this idea that being on Ozempic or GLP-1 agonists could increase fertility. And you know what? It's actually true. These medications can help increase fertility. I'm gonna tell you exactly how. We've got three sort of main pathways in which they can do this, but I'm also gonna tell you what to do if you're not necessarily interested in this increased fertility. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. Now let's first start talking about how these medications work, by the way, and I have plenty of videos. Oh, right in the comments. Are you on a GLP-1 agonist? What do you take it for? How is it working for you? Um, but this is a the thing. They are FDA approved for people with diabetes, for obesity, overweight, um, people with sleep apnea, and there are other potential FDA indications as well. They help by increasing insulin secretion in response to meals. So what that does is it helps us lower our blood sugar levels. Also, these medications help lower levels of a hormone called glucagon. That hormone raises blood sugar. So when we lower that hormone, that helps us. The medications also slow down emptying of our stomach. So it allows us to keep full longer. It decreases gastric emptying, delayed gastric emptying. And that's one of the things it does. So we stay full. The other thing is these medications send signals to our brain that sort of increases feelings of fullness and it causes us to eat less. Have you ever heard of people saying that the food noise is decreased with these medications? They just don't, you know, think about food and, you know, need food the same way. Well, that's part of that. Um, so those are just some ways that it works. Now, getting back to the Ozempic babies. It is true that being on a GLP-1 agonist could potentially increase your fertility. I'm going to talk about the three ways that that can happen. First of all, we know that obesity and being overweight can be a risk factor for decreased fertility, and this is for a number of reasons. Likewise, losing weight can, in many people, improve fertility. It has to do with ovulation cycles, hormones, and so much more. So perhaps women that are overweight or obese, their ovulation is not ideal, but when they lose weight through GLP-1, their ovulation improves, it becomes more regular, that increases, and voila! Now, another way that fertility can be increased by GLP-1s is that um, these medications could sort of render your birth control pills less effective. Now, remember, I told you that these medications, GLP-1 agonists, uh, work in part by slowing down um, the rate at which food moves through our stomach. This helps make us feel full longer, but this sort of delayed gastric emptying and other things could also interfere with absorption of our medications, including birth control pills. So it could be also that women on GLP-1 agonists may not be able to absorb their oral birth control pills as well as before. And that may lead to a potential increase in fertility because they're not, they're not, their body's not getting their oral birth control pills the way they used to. I would also say, and this is as a doctor who, is pres who prescribes these medications, there are some people who, when starting these medications, GLP-1s or increasing the dose, um, may get nausea or vomiting. And this is the thing, if you're on an oral birth control pill, oral contraceptive, and you're vomiting, you may not be taking in the medicine, right? You might be vomiting it out and essentially missing doses or not getting the full therapeutic dose of your birth control pills. All right, so you're wondering, oh my gosh, so what do I do about this? Well, you're in luck, okay? There are things we can do about it, right? Okay, and notice that I've really been talking mostly about oral contraception here. But the thing is, um, some of the GLP-1 medications actually have uh, instructions and their prescribing information, like that packet that you get in the medicine that tells you and your doctor what can be done that will reduce the risk of potential increased fertility. That is using a second form of birth control when you start the medication or when you increase your dose, etc. understand that a second form of birth control can be used. Now, this is where you need to take either this video or this concept to your doctor and say, hey, I saw this video and I want to get pregnant and you know, what do we need to do here? And the answer that your doctor gives you and what you decide on is going to depend on a lot of things. It's going to depend on you, the type of birth control you're on. All birth control is not oral contraception, right? There are other types of birth control. Um, your underlying risk factors and things like that. So just understand that, yes, there can be an increased uh, fertility with being on GLP-1 agonists for the different reasons I mentioned and others, but there are there are things you can do about that, okay? Right in the comments, um, have you ever had an Ozempic baby? Did you get pregnant on Ozempic or any of these medications? I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. Please subscribe to my channel, click the little bell for updates, follow me on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, etc. Subscribe to my weekly free health newsletter at drjencottle.com. Guys, love y'all. Bye.